Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Melody from Bake Life and Let's Dig It. Been running around like a nut. Don't mind me. It's really cold here today. It's like, I think they said it would feel like 12. Anyway, been running around. It's kind of earlier here. And I wanted to get around to making this video, which is what seed companies do I support? I get asked that question a lot. If you want to see certain uh, tomato plants or pepper plants that I did grow for gardening 2021, there are videos for that on the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about what seed companies do I support. Now, obviously, I did just put out a video for the dollar store. Um, I was one of those judgy people, like, oh, the dollar store. But you know what? They germinated. I played around with them last year. They were really good. And I did that for a few subscribers asking me to. So dollar store seeds actually work and they're four for a dollar. But I don't put all my eggs in one basket when it comes to the dollar store. Number two, I order mainly from and my gardener. Um, from the moment I started doing things from seed um, and not buying a plant, thanks to Jess from Roots and Refuge, I go to and my gardener. I don't go to Haas Tools. It's a little expensive. Baker Creek's a little expensive for me. If someone sends me Baker Creek, I'm like super duper happy. Hopefully you can see this pretty good. Let me see the lighting. It's a little bright out. There we go. Is that a little bit better? Anyway, so I mentioned this in my Sunday Night Live that I was going to talk about and put my money behind, you know, put my money where my mouth is, I guess was the saying that I use. If you are new here, hi and welcome. You can always go back and look at videos, but I did talk about what seeds I was going to use last year besides on my gardener and then come back with a review on it. So my friends, today is the day that I'm giving you a review on the Bug Out Seed Bag right here. I used a lot of these seeds out of the Bug Out Seed Bag. Uh, this is not open, this is my new one for this year. So this is the Bug Out Seed Bag. It's the complete heirloom survival garden. Um, like I said, I did talk about this before. There's, it, you can grow 1,300 pounds of food just out of this bag alone. Um, let's see, it has beets, broccoli, broccoli, cabbage, cabbage, you know, um, carrots. It tells you like scarlet nancies, celery, chard, corn, cucumber, eggplants, um, two different herbs like basil and thyme, two different types of kale, three different types of lettuces, melons, mustard, onion, peas, peppers, um, cayenne peppers, pumpkin, which is the small sugar pumpkins, radish, Spin, uh, two different types of spinach, uh, one, two, three different types of squash, tomato, and watermelon. Why am I not reading all of them out? Because I did a video on this last year and went over and told you everything that comes in this bag. Um, this one here, you have a five to seven year longevity. You can store this in a cool, dry place. Um, also, what's a little different about this is what it says, it comes, it comes with a veggie planting guide. Um, but what is in here on the back, all this is in here. These are full packs of seeds. Uh, what is in here is also um, selected. Does that make sense? For an example, it says due to seasonable availability, substitution may apply. So... It could say like a green curled kale in here and you might get a different type of kale. So, I put my money where my mouth is with this bag because I grew so much from this uh, bug out seed bag. So I highly recommend this. What else did I use last year? Well, my friends, Clax Garden. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, to heirloom seeds made in the United States. There's 15, uh, let me see, 42 varieties, 15,000 no, 15, seeds, non-GMO. Let's get that straight. I use this and use so many of the seeds. Let me tell you something. These were amazing. I have nothing bad to say about either one of these seed companies. If you want to check them out, 
This one here has a 25 year uh, shelf life, I guess you want to call it, from the packaging date, which is September 22nd, 2021 is when they packaged this. I got these early in advance. When I saw what my garden was doing last year, as I was in the midst of it, I was telling Chris, like, I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like this in my life. There you go. I kid you not. So I will put my money where my mouth is. I absolutely love both of these companies. These are in smaller um, packages. It's not the full packs, but these are smaller packages. You have things like asparagus, you know, which any new homestead you move to, you should plant them immediately, and I have not yet. Um, you have Detroit uh, red beets. You have California Wonder Bell peppers, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, bush beans, butternut squash, um, red acre cabbage, golden acre cabbage, and you know, I grew all of them. Cantaloupe, I thought was from this company. You know, I had that epic fail on the cantaloupe, and then I realized I went in one of my seed boxes over here. Um, someone must have sent me them, and they just weren't the, It just happens. Uh, but anyway, cantaloupe, two different types of carrots, cauliflower, celery, cherry tomatoes, corn, cucumbers, eggplant, green beans, pepper, kale, three different types of lettuces, lima beans, okra, um, two different types of onions, peas, pinto beans, pumpkin, radish, scallions, snap peas, two different types of spinach, sunflower, Swiss chard, tomato, turnip, watermelon, zucchini. These two bags have a lot of seeds in it. Now this one estimates that you can, let's see, this bag, it's saying will grow 1,300 pounds of food. I beg to differ, I think it grew a whole lot more than that. I Maybe that depends if you use the whole pack or not. And this one here, let me say this Clax one, is an open pollinated non-hybrid. Uh, like I said, made in the USA. I'm looking for it. Four thousand. Wow, that's crazy. Four thousand pounds of food, and then these don't even have the full packages. These are like the smaller ones, but they're not giving you like two, three seeds. They're giving you a bunch of seeds in that small little package. So these are the two seed companies I fell in love with last year, along with my MI Gardener. I'm going to stay with MI Gardener. I, it's the first seed company I went to as soon as I started growing everything from seed and stopped supporting the box stores. Now, last season, I bought white eggplant from a box store and tried that, and it was just okay. I, I wouldn't buy it again. It didn't really have much flavor. Um, I think it was a Gold Rush Zucchini. Um, that one got more aphids on it than any of my other zucchini plants. Facts. That was from Home Depot as well. What else did I get? Did I actually purchase something? Oh, candy cane pepper plant I did purchase. And that was fantastic. That was good. That was my first, uh, what do you call that? I'm trying to think. Oh, I can't think of the name of it right now. But it's a specific type of pepper. It has white on the leaves. Uh, my, my brain's just dead. I did a video showing, it was supposed to be about Shed Wars and showing uh, my one freezer box, how it's filled with, you know, all this stuff from out of the garden. It turned into like a clean out type of thing. I'm just on the one freezer box and like maybe 10% of my regular freezer. There's two more freezers to go. I'm sorry about how long the video is, but it is what it is. I grew a lot of food out in that garden last year. If you're not familiar with Shed Wars, Shed Wars is a community where they try to teach people how to grow food. It's a great community. Um, it's also a game that they play, and um, it was a lot of fun to be in, but that was my new garden um, that I built, and I didn't feel like I really got to enjoy it. Um, it was too much pressure because of Shed Wars, because I am in a new place and I have to get my stuff moved in here. I'm not blaming Shed Wars, but these seed companies, including MI Gardener, produced 5,226 pounds of food 
for shed wars. I grew 136 tomato plants in the beds alone. Um, that would be that garden. 60 to 65 extra tomato plants in the side garden. And I think it was anywhere between 60 and 80 extra pepper plants. And I still had things in cups and just out of being aggravated, I threw like three, four cups over into the composted soil, which is no live animal matter in it. It's horticultural <laughs> soil. I always have a problem saying that. Just all broken down leaves, sticks, twigs. That soil has been amazing. Jay bought me that for last year's Christmas. And um, I threw some cups in it and it just, I didn't get a chance to get rid of them. And it grew so many more additional tomatoes in there. Now I'm not on acres and acres of property. I have one, two, three in ground and a really long in ground one. So one, two, three, four. And then I have eight raised beds. Um, I also have 26, 27 pots. And then I have the side garden, which I don't have the measurements right in front of me, but pretty decent size. Um, I did do a video on it, I think for John and Homestead Aquarius, of where the oil, our oil tank is down on the ground, but if you take three of my feet and go forward from there to the end and out was the side garden. I wasn't even planning on having a side garden, but I had so many extra plants that I had no choice. I was giving plants away to the neighbor. I gave seeds away to the other neighbor. I donated plants to uh, the church um, for any of the parishioners that wanted to grow some food. Um, so yeah, and I still had a lot of extras left over. If you go back to some of my lives, I had, I usually use just one shelf, but I had two in front of this door. As you see, it gets great sun and every single shelf was filled. This is a one, two, three, four, five shelf. The other one downstairs is a four and I used both of them. Trays and trays and trays of seeds, the plants. So yeah, that's how I grew all that food. Um, from morning till night, I was out in that garden. Um, so this video, cause I'm gonna do a video probably following this one, of what would I do different? What did I think of my garden? But this one is just mainly to talk about the seed companies that I strictly use, and that's the Bug Out Seed Bag Company right here. It's a bug out bag, it will keep you alive for days. A bug out seed bag will feed you for years. So that's this one right here. And this is Collax Garden, vegetable heirloom seeds made in the USA. Uh, 15,000 seeds, non-GMO, or it's 1,500, I can't really say it right. Uh, 42 different types, open pollinated, non-hybrid. Gives you all the lists down here. Um, like I said, they each will tell you like storable in a cool, dry place for up to 25 years from this packaging date, which was September 22nd, 2021. And then this one, let's see, seven to 10 year longevity. And it just says to 20, it just says 21. So from the year 21. But you could keep the. I like this one better, and I'll tell you why, because this is smaller, and you can tuck this away in your refrigerator and keep them fresh that way, but I've never stored seeds in my refrigerator. I just, um, last year, I don't know if you saw that video. If not, go back and take a look. I have seven of these photo box keepers to keep me organized, and let me tell you, they're a hot mess. I have seeds everywhere down the basement from taking all the containers out. I made a hot mess out of everything, so I have to clean them all out. I have these two out because they're dollar store, and I'm going to try to at least get my dollar store seeds organized, but I really don't think that's going to work out the way that I hope because I just found like two bags or baskets that I would carry out to the garden that has all types of cases and loose seeds in them, so it's going to be a project to clean up. I did that video, what's the first thing I do after the new year, and that's get organized, and I'm not even done being organized. But I didn't want to hold off and wait. I wanted to tell you the three seed companies that I use. I don't think I have an MI Gardener pack of seeds here handy. I think I just have Dollar Store. But you get the drift. Um, MI Gardener, very reliable. 
I hear people say that they have trouble um, with his germinating. I do not. Unfortunately, I don't have an M.I. Gardener seed here, but you can go to migardener.com. I always order from him every year, and usually I like to get them in January. Worst case scenario, as an early Valentine's gift from like usually Chris or whatever. I've already, I've gotten seeds for, for Christmas before because I requested it. But this year I'm going to try to shoot maybe for the beginning of February to get my order in for at my gardener. Um, but I'm not trying to order yet until I know exactly what I need. And yeah, so this video is me putting my money where my mouth is. Putting my proof in the pudding is that brand new garden out there and how much food did it produce. And they're the only three seed companies I use. This is that Clax garden again and this is the bug out uh seed bag which they say will keep you alive for days and feed you for years that's an understatement um and like i said this has twenty-two thousand seeds in it and this has fifteen thousand seeds in it very good companies it's a sustainable seed company if you're interested um they're both sustainable seeds this is more of like a seed vault type of company and this is a sustainable seed company so that's what I use my friends and you can look on it and it says pollinated for sustainable pollination 100% guaranteed so yeah this is um, www.sustainableseed.com but I will leave both of these and an MI Gardener link down below in a description. But that is all that I used to produce the amount of food that I produced out of my garden last year. And my gardener, I did get a few um, lovely gifts of seeds. Um, I got some zinnias from Gail Southern Living. Let me think. Oh, I think she sent, sent me some tomatillas uh, last year. I was so busy that I couldn't even put out videos. I mean, it, it was just nuts. I had three problems with a phone, but that's a whole other video. But and I might try those seeds. But thank you again to Gail for those. She sent me like the little packages of, she sent me one package of the zinnias and then um, a form of, you know, tomato. Let me think, did I get any other lovely gifts from subscribers that were seed related that I used in my garden last year? No, I did not. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much what I used. I used, um, like I said, this bug out seed bag and this collapsed garden and MI gardener. So if you're interested, there it is. I did say I would put this video out. I'm just missing an MI gardener seed package there. I should have grabbed one while I was downstairs, but I wasn't thinking because I didn't want to put this video off any longer. But there's a previous video that goes more into extent of opening. I'm not ready to open these yet. So, um, yeah, this is exactly what I used last year and in my gardener. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, go check them out. Go back to, it is labeled bug out seed bag. And then this one I did separately. It is on the channel. Go back and take a look at them. I go into more great detail about them. I open the packages up. I show you what these seed packages look like and what these seed packages look like. So there it is. That is how I grew all that food in my garden last year and my gardener and these two seed companies. And I'm extremely happy to the point where I made sure that these were here in the house. I think September, I think maybe September, these were already purchased and sent to me by Chris. So thank you, Chris. Um, he saw the garden and he knows if I'm usually like, I think there's going to be a problem, need to get the seeds. They did phenomenal as a gift. He sent them to my house. So that was super nice of him. Um, he does support me when it comes to the gardening aspect. And this was a lovely surprise. Um, I have to watch what I say to him sometimes because then it just magically shows up in my house. But I will never be upset when seeds are sent to my house. So we'll always keep that in mind. I am a woman that loves her seeds. Um, so there you have it. That's my video on what seeds I recommend. I have used some Baker Creek that were sent to me, um, not last year, maybe the year before when, at, when I was at my house. Um, you know, they were good, but I just think some of them are very expensive. And if you're on a budget, 
you can be on a budget and still grow lots of food. So MI Gardener, Collapse Garden, Bug Out Seed Bag. And that, my friends, is my video today. So I love you very much. If you want to know more about these two seed companies, you can go back into my channel and take a look. Um, it is there for reference. And I hope that this was helpful. I will be coming at you with what tomatoes am I going to do this year? Am I going to do 136 tomatoes in my garden again this year? I'm basically just going to do what did I think of the new garden that I built type of video. And then I'll come at you with um, what did I think of the, uh, let me see, I'm going to do a video on what did I think of my new garden? What would I do differently? What did I love? What did I not like? I am going to do that video. So just stay tuned. There'll be lots of gardening stuff coming up. So if you're interested in these seeds, I suggest you get them. And I hope that you are very fruitful and you grow a lot of food like I did this last season. So I love you all. Thank you for joining me. If you're trying to be like a prepper preparing, I highly recommend this as well. Like I said, it will last seven to 10 years and this one will last for 25 years. So this can also go down in your prepping and preparing list. So I'm always prepared. So we're already here in the house. They've been in the house here probably August, September, but I love you. Um, like, subscribe, share, watch the commercials, do all that fun stuff. It really helps out the channel. And I will catch you all on the next video, everyone. Have a great day. God bless.